so excited it is here my gosney arc xl box is a little beat up we'll see how it is when we unbox it This is pretty heavy for a one-person lift, so probably better to get some help. So notice it had black stuff all over it, got all over my shirt. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cut this thing open. See what it's like. here. Looks beautiful. That bone is like very pretty off-white. Almost has a bit of a, um, a little bit more of a yellowish hue to it than I was expecting, but very pretty. I think some of it's just the lighting. So a little mark there, but other than that, it looks really good. Get that pulled out. not to do the uh, the Gosney stand. Uh, I have this one already from my uni and decided to uh, at least start off with just using that. So, okay, let's go and get some things pulled out here. Did a good job of kind of putting stuff in here to brace the stone, keep it in place in transit. All right, one, two, on here a little bit. Three. Got it all numbered for you, tell you which one to take out when. Right. Okay. Then uh, right in here they've got these little pads. Those are removed before use just to keep the stone safe. There's another one back in here on the left. Looks like we're all set there. Go ahead and open up the package here. Just half of it, and the other half is just kind of covering space. We've got our vent, we've got our hose for the propane, and then we've got the battery, the uh, thermometer, the little tool for removing the stone, as well as the flank guard. So let's go ahead and get these out. Easy to open packaging, which I appreciate. Get our flame guard in here. Ooh, that flame guard actually bends pretty easy, so you have to be a little gentle as you're trying to open that package. See there, it got a little bit of a, a bend in it. at first these pieces are gonna go facing backward gonna reach around it like that get these out and set them aside for now this one with the hose which is got the, uh, the quick release for the back um, to get that out, but it's got quick release there, which is helpful. And then the screw on for the uh, for the tank. We'll go ahead and get that on here. Okay, we'll go ahead and get this hooked up here. We'll lock the cover. On there. It's firm.
final. All right, next thing we're gonna do is get the uh, stone tool here. And we are gonna actually just take that and reach back to the very back and get it in there behind the stone and pull it forward. Mine was pretty tight to the back there so I couldn't get in, but there's a little bit of a lip on there so I was able to pull it forward. So next thing we're gonna do is right here on the screen I'm going to go ahead and grab the little lip they have there, take off the plastic cover. This thing pops right out, it's just kind of magnetized in there. We're going to move the cord while we work on this. So first thing I'm going to do is take and unscrew this. That's where we'll put the battery for the uh, thermometer back there. And they did include this battery. I'm going to open that. And we're going to put it in with the positive side out. And go ahead and twist that in. Okay. Then next thing we're going to need to do is open this up. Make sure it has the batteries it needs. We're gonna, it comes with a little Torx uh, just for this. Set. Try not to lose that. Okay, it already has the batteries in there. Pop that out. And uh, okay, so we're just going to go ahead and that back in there, slide those in, and go ahead and I'm gonna stay in there. Pop that, there we go, pop that in there, and tighten that screw. Okay, Turn this on. We're gonna go ahead and hold the power button for three seconds. Okay, there it's going. It's on. And now go ahead and line up. There's a little notch on this uh, probe there. Plug that in. We're getting our initial reading there. I'm going to hold that uh, temperature button to switch to Fahrenheit. Uh, great, it looks like we're all set up there. By the way, the, uh, the one tool we haven't used here that came with it is a matchstick holder. Um, in case your igniter's ever not working, you need to light a match and stick it back in there. Uh, we're not going to be using that at all. We're light it lit up just fine, but that's what that is in case you're wondering. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this fired up here. Make sure my gas is on. It is. I let it sit for a little bit to let the, the line fill up. And now we'll go ahead and we push in the knob and turn it. I can hear the fuel coming there. Oh, came off there for a second. And now it's back on. And it recommends uh, on your first light up to put it down to low and let it go for about 30 minutes to cure the stone. We're gonna go ahead and let that let that go for a little bit. Um, says in the future if it's been uh if we haven't used it for a significant amount of time to go ahead and do the same thing again but just for five minutes to let it get going so anyways we're gonna let that warm up here for a little bit i'm excited to get this thing going all right so i let this go for about 45 minutes so far it's up just under 500 degrees i ended up bringing it above kind of to medium low it says you can go kind of low to medium on this cure um, and I'm gonna actually let it go even a little bit longer make sure the stone's nice and clean, make sure we're ready uh, for our first bake. And um, I was interested to see going that long at medium low, getting up to this kind of right around 500 degrees. I was curious what the lower temperature range of this is. Um, also just kind of feeling it, I can put my hand on here, but it's pretty hot. I wouldn't hold it on there very long. Um, and so definitely, um, definitely gets warm, but not, not too bad. And uh, I'm super excited to cook some pizzas on it. So I will share those.